Hello, it's me, and as you can see, I've changed venue a little bit for this. I'm floating somewhere in the Caribbean, I think. And anyway, the kids are off doing kid things, so I thought I'd take this opportunity and show this Axis Cube. So, uh, this is um, basically it's a modification of a 3x3, and there's a couple of different orders to this. Now the basic technique when approaching any uh, modifications, any mods, is to try to correlate the pieces with uh, a normal 3x3. So I've kind of turned it here, you can see this is one layer, middle layer, and this is a bottom layer over here. And oftentimes with these, they have centers, but the centers may be of different shapes, edges of different shapes, so just kind of see what might correlate with what. So as I turn this, this is obviously a center over here, which means this is a center over here here. So although it's a cube and it will move like a 3x3, it's actually skewed off of its axis a little bit. So that's, uh, that's why they call it that. When exploring the structure too, you can see um, once you've identified the centers, identify what your edges are. Uh, in this case, edges are something that uh, articulates between two centers. So here's an edge over here, here's an edge over here, here and here. So it's very clear is that there's two species of uh, edges. There's one with a solid um, color and one with two colors. Now, all different mods can have different types of characteristics based on unique structures, lending to certain parodies and certain other types of uh, types of issues that might land with that. So you never know what you're going to get. And of course, you've got the corners. You've got a triangular corner of, of uh, one color. And then you've got three corners here, uh, three colors here to this corner, and then a triangular corner here with these over here. Uh, so something to notice also, as you're looking at the structure here, that uh, with the centers you've got short areas and you've got long edges here, long sides here. And what it appears is that the short edges seem to combine with each other of one color, between which there's uh, there's an edge of, of one solid color. So now that when it's scrambled. Basically, you're going to have the, when you look at the centers, there's the short area, there's the short side, which is going to articulate with the short side of another center of the same color. Um, you can see that here too. With the long sides here, you can see that it articulates with the long side of the other center of that color, the same color here, and then it shares a color with another center. So. Hopefully that's going to make more sense as we solve it, but it's important to kind of keep in mind the structure so that it can aid in the solving. So when you have a, have a modification of a 3x3, three three, among the characteristics is they're all solved like a super cube, which means that either shape or color orientation has meaning, which means you can't solve it just like a normal 3x3. Three three. You can to a degree, but it takes a little bit more strategy. Not only do they act variably like a super cube, this will be a super cube by way of its shape and its orientation. This will be based on that as well as its color. But in order to maintain its 3x3 three three abilities, basically they shape shift as well. So all mods have those characteristics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, scramble it. And then we'll see if we can use some of these perspectives to, uh, to solve this particular axis cube. And Abra Cadabra. Okay, and done, and we're scrambled. Cruise ship, cruise ship, cruise ship, please don't stop the cruise, don't stop the cruise. So the other characteristics to see is that when these are scrambled, it kind of has this jagged look about it, like everything is all messed up. But if you look at it closely, you can see that our structure, our side structure is pretty much uh, intact. So in other words, here's a side over here, and you see edge, 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 edge. Right where edges are supposed to be, the corner, 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 corner. So we're going to use the perspective that we uh, that we studied in order to hopefully help um, help solve this. So why don't we start off with this side over here? I know that there's a green part of this center here, so there's another green center surrounding it right over here. And I know by studying it that between these two centers is going to be a solid edge, which is this guy over here. So I'm going to position this here so that the two short ends are by each other. And we have to put the right solid here, which in this case is this one. So, simple stuff. Just gonna turn this out, turn it into here, as you can see, and turn it up. So, that's good. Now what we also have is we have a short edge over here, 
of orange, which is going to combine with the short edge over here. So I need the solid orange here, which will join the short edges. So there it is over here. So turn this, bring this in line, match it up. And if it doesn't quite match up, then we have to approach it by a slightly different angle. Now it's easier to visualize this with a 3x3, and these are the same techniques. It's just harder to visualize with something that you're not used to. So even the turning of it can be a little, little challenging. So there that is, and bang. So this is good, and this is good. With our first side, we've got our two edges in. Little ocean break. Very nice. This is on the allure of the sea. Little balcony view. All right. So now the next step is what about the two other edges? Well, on, on all the sides, the easy part of the axis cube is to get these two. With these two other edges, you have to find colors that combine these two edges together. These two sides together, rather. Centers. So with this, we have a yellow center and a yellow center over here. So what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be matching up the proper colors. So this is a green large side. Large green side with large um, with the large yellow side. So we're basically combining the green and yellow. And this over here, we're combining the orange and yellow. So I can actually identify the pieces and you can already see I've got the yellow between that. That was kind of a, an accident. So I'm looking for the green and yellow. And here this is going to be the orange and yellow. So I can already identify what piece I need. So here's an orange and yellow over here. So let's just bring this down. Bring this back up as we might lose perspective if I don't put back exactly what I took down. And now this is going to come into here somewhere. Well, actually, this over here, the orange and yellow side. So we'll just match things up as best we can. So we'll turn it down like so. Okay, so we can move it up like that. You can see that fits flush, and then bring it up like, like here. Okay, so this is good, this is good, this is good. Now what I want to do is I want to find the green and yellow, which is over here. It accidentally got in place, so you see how I very tried, I tried to cleverly and subtly get it out of place so it didn't look too easy. But in any case, I want to move this in here. So we'll see about, this has to go on the long side, so move this down, move this up, that's good here, and move this up over here. Okay, so basically what I did is, it was really just a matter of moving it in the same way you do a 3x3, three three. so we've got the first cross over here. We're combining this and this, which is a solid color, which matches the short sides of the same color, and then we do the combination colors, knowing that orange is between these two, the yellow is between these two, short, uh, so long um, orange and long green. There we go, keep going. Now it's just a question of the corners. You can see this does belong here. It just has to be rolled in correctly. So we'll do that. Turn, turn, not yet. Turn, turn, turn. Turn and turn. So we got that in here. Now the green triangle goes in here if we can find it. And it's right over here. So turn, turn, not yet. Turn, 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 not yet. Turn, 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 aha, and turn. So we're good over here. And now we've got to put, uh, well, this actually belongs over here. This actually takes three colors. White, because this is going to be white over here. Green and orange, right over here. So just roll that in. This is good. Now this will get rolled into here. Turn and turn. All right, so we basically have our first side over here, as you can see. Our first layer. Second layer is all edges. And all of our center should be aligned. So obviously this comes in here, but it's it's skewed wrong. So I'm gonna actually probably come back to that. Well, so we're just gonna bump this out. So we'll go turn, turn, 
turn, turn, turn, turn, turn, turn, okay? So we bump this out. This has to roll back into here, but not on this side. You can see the shape is the opposite. Now what I'm doing is exactly the same Rubik's Cube um, algorithm to flip this edge down to here. In this case, from here to here. Turn, 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 turn. Again, I'm assuming knowledge on how to solve a normal 3x3, as I would assume you um, learn how to do that before tackling this guy. So now over here, it's going to be green and red. Do we have the green and red here? Yeah. So does it go into here? Well, if you're ever in doubt, just pull it down and see what it looks like. So yeah, that does fit in here. So we're just going to move that down. Turn, 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 and turn. So we're good here. This takes the solid uh, yellow right over here. We've got to be careful about our orientation. So turn, 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 turn. If these algorithms aren't familiar to you, let me know. I can post them, but I assume you know them. Okay, here, yellow and blue. Right over here, and this will fit nicely down here. So, turn, turn. Turn, 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 turn. Turn, and plop. So, we're good. We just have the last layer now. On all these mods, modification uh, cubes, the payoff is the last layer, because the last layer is really the biggest challenge. It's where you get the more unique aspects of that, and that's where your perspective really becomes challenging. So the first step is I'm just gonna orient my center appropriately. So blue is with blue, red is with red. We can identify our edges here, and now we have to flip them all in the right, um, you know, flip them up, basically. So how do I know which is up and which is, uh, which is flipped down? But well, I can tell that these are both flipped down because the white's facing up. Something else that you can do is just turn them to their proper area and see if they make sense. So this is supposed to be here, but you can see that it's upside down. Same thing with this. What about these guys? Well, since I know this is a three by three without parity, either they're both flipped wrong or these two are flipped right. So let's put them where they're supposed to be. And, uh, this is supposed to be here, and this is flipped wrong. And this is supposed to be here, and this is flipped wrong. So basically, we have, I guess what you'd call a dot. So it's the same algorithm, just keep, keep your uh, perspective. This is up, and uh, we'll call this one over here F. So basically, we have F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. So now let's see what that did. This obviously got flipped up, and we can even put this at its proper corner, and you can see that it's fine over here. What about this? Did this get flip, flipped up? Now yeah, let's come over here. You can see, no, this is upside down. So this is right side up. This is upside down. Let's look at our red. This uh, blue is also right side up. So right side up. And this, uh, this, is, this here is right side up. So these are two right side up um, pieces, which means these two are upside down, so this is kind of like our L formation. So holding it over here, just next to the ones that are right side up with our L, that'll be F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. Now just by faith, I know that that's gonna give me the line, which is here. So I know that these two are upside down now, and these two must be right side up. You can already see that this is right side up. I could move this here and prove it, which I just did. But now, with our line here, we do the same thing with this being F. So we have F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. So now everything should be flipped up. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line my edge here, or my center here, where it's supposed to be. This is here, this is here. Now when I'm doing the orientation of the corners, uh, the edges here rather, you have to make sure that you want to keep your centers oriented correctly. 
because if you don't, you might end up finding all the corners fine, but this being rotated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the uh, edge rotating algorithm, keeping this exactly where it is. Holding this in front of me, nothing is where it's supposed to be. This is going to stay here. I'm going to keep rotating it until I have an edge, one edge, that's where it's supposed to be. So just remember this is up. So now I'm going to do that algorithm to uh, rotate the edges, which is, we've seen many times, R, U, R, I, U, R, 2, U, R, I. Then I just take a peek. This is now in, so I'm now going to reorient it over here. And now this is going to stay while everything else is going to be reoriented. So I don't have to worry about any super cube uh, rotational problems here. So we got R, U, R, I, U, R, 2, U, R, I, and we got it. So we have our, uh, we have our edges. Now it's just a question of corners. And, uh, you know, depending on, on how it looks, if these, because these are triangles that are, uh, that are not symmetric, basically, with the mega morphings, it was symmetric. So I, I wasn't able to tell if my orientation and my rotation was right. So we ended up with that very interesting parity. Here, it's not equal, so there's no problem with that. So I can solve it as is. In other words, this in the megamorphings may have appeared to be salt. In other words, if this were the same color, it would have appeared to be in, but not so in the axis cube. So what edge is where it's supposed to be? None of them, actually. So I'm just going to arbitrarily hold any and do the, uh, corner, the uh, corner rotating algorithm, which keeps this steady, which keeps this constant. So it's basically the U, R, U, I, L, I, U, R, I, U, I, L. And then we take a look. We see this is where it's supposed to be. In the megamorphings, this would appear to be flushed and solved, even though it wouldn't really be. Here we can tell, although it's where it's supposed to be, it's not rotated right. But now I'm going to hold it here and do that same algorithm. Back, back. Bang, bang. Zoom, pow. And that basically lands us exactly where we want to be. So again, the difference with the megamorphings is we just have one of these that are out as opposed to two, one of these three triangles. And these, although it's a solid color, it's of different shapes. I mean, the, you know, the orientation you can tell is wrong. So again, don't lose your orientation. This is our top here. And we just roll them in. Roll them in the way that we would do with a, with a Rubik's Cube. So down, turn, 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 turn. Turn, turn, turn. Move this into place. Turn, 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 turn. That looks good. Turn. Keep it going. Almost there. Almost home. Turn, turn. Turn, 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 turn. And I'm just rolling it in, hoping it doesn't fall in the ocean. Turn, turn. And lastly, we've got this, which we know is out of place. Turn, 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 and finish it up and you got it you solved your axis cube again a worthy addition to a any modification uh, collection using the strategies of a three by three with a little super cube uh, modality there so uh hope that helped and um we'll return for maybe some higher order versions of this now it's time to check that ocean out